If you are looking for information on DJ equipment or PA equipment, please do look at the uploads on my channel. Please do like and subscribe as there just might be some valuable information there just for you. Not a bad unit. I honestly thought I wasn't going to like it. I've had the Bose S1 Pro and I've had the JBL Eon 1 Compact. This doesn't seem as compact. It's a little taller, but I think it's a little, I think it's a bit slimmer. But yeah, it's a very nice compact speaker. I haven't got around yet to find out how long the battery lasts, but yeah, can't fault it. Well, I say I can't fault it. There's a few things that I think are missing on this that I think would help. If you consider its price, one more channel wouldn't go amiss. The Bose S1 Pro and the JBL Eon 1 Compact, they both have reverb. I think reverb is missing on this. And finally, I think I'd prefer, would prefer bass and treble because I think the other units had that. And I think, you know, you can tailor it more to how you want it to sound rather than just a, a DSP switch. I think bass and treble would give you just that little bit more flexibility on how you want this to sound. So let's just spin this around and take a good look all around the speaker. Don't try this at home, I wouldn't advise it. If you get any failures in the future on your unit, you will not get any support and you'll just waste all your money. And this is what you get when you take the front grill off. Yes, tweeter on the floor. I've never seen that before. And your mid-range or your woofer above it. Well, there you go. You've seen it now. You've got your spinning logo, spring mounted. And behind the grill, you've got a nice gasket that can soak up any vibrations. Just to convince you that this is the right way around, tweeter at the bottom and full range at the top. I'll just spin it around again. Let's take a look beyond the front panel. <laughs> this thing is giving me giving me hell to get off <laughs> this is a real tear down got there in the end More of that gasket material around the front panel again to soak up any resonance.
those two large ports at the bottom they are about five inches long and diameter they're about two inches the full range driver the tweeter and the led light at the bottom of the unit all share the same wiring loom well not the same wire but they're all connected together which connects to the rear of the speaker The front panel is all plastic. Taking a closer look at the tweeter. And a little closer at the specs of that low frequency driver. take a look at that that low frequency driver weighs a little over two kilos and just under five pounds now let's take a closer look at that tweeter Take a closer look at the waveguide. And there is the high frequency driver. And that in its housing weighs around 40 grams. This mini board has eight LEDs and they sit behind a rubber diffuser that is at the bottom of the speaker that illuminates and you can see the green light telling you that the unit is on. inside running down both sides you can see the normal standard material that you'll find in many speaker enclosures this material seems to be have held in place by seems like a squirt of some kind of glue on either side as you can see on this side some of that glue wasn't strong enough and didn't hold it down but on the other side you can definitely see that the glue was strong enough and it was maybe pressed in place right and that's still sitting in position Now let's take a look at the business end at the back. That whole complete unit weighs just over a kilo. That rear part of the speaker shell with all the entire guts taken out weighs around 2.2 kilos, around the same weight as the low frequency driver. That front grille weighs 720 grams.
and this front baffle weighs just under a kilo. That's it. Just got to put it all back together now.